Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Uh, so today we have a little bit of a let's see what's good kind of video. I went to Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree, spent about 20 bucks and found so much cool stuff. I am so excited to share with you guys today. I don't, I can't believe how long it's been since I actually went to Dollar Tree. There's not one close to me. So it's a little bit of like, it's a little bit of a, a trip to go to a Dollar Tree. But last time I was in Murphy, I like remembered to stop by and, you know, just could pop in and see what, what was up. And I found so much fun stuff. Uh, I, we're just going to go through all of it today. If you guys are interested about what's on my eyes today, this was, this this was a feat. Uh, actually super, super easy to achieve. But the thing that has me just kind of like in awe is the fact that I used these uh, super, super affordable eyeliner stickers to do my eyes today. And they look so amazing. They look so, so beautiful. I'm going to give you guys a close up real quick. I of course have pictures up on my Instagram and my Facebook. If you guys want to go check those out. I also did this look live over on my Facebook. The uh, link for that will be in the description box below along with you know, some of the stuff that we're talking about in today's video and all of the tags to my other social medias. If you guys are not following me on all my other socials, you definitely should be. I post lots of fun, fun content. Uh, so definitely check those out. But yeah, we use eyeliner stickers today and I am so in love. Uh, I did have to use a little bit of lash glue uh, in the end to really adhere them to my eyes. But y'all, I am so, so impressed with the way that they look. They look so seamless on the eyes really really gorgeous i actually went up to my husband as like a test and asked him how my eyes looked today and y'all he said my line work was fantastic he could not tell that i had stickers on my eyes they're they're gorgeous they're seamless in pictures uh it is a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how to get them on your eye and where uh where they look uh the best placed at and things like that but y'all really really 10 out of 10 i really highly recommend these i don't think that they look like stickers at all whatsoever i think they look so so good they're not curling up at the edges i do recommend using a little bit of lash glue just on the ends on the corners to really get them to stick down and stay down but other than that, I think they're absolutely stunning. So much fun. And I have so many different colors to play with. I uh, definitely will have these in the description box below if y'all are interested. Again, I got these off of Sheen. So fun. I love Sheen. All the little funky, fun little things uh, that you can find on there are just, ugh, it's a makeup lover's dream. It really, really is. Uh, so moving on to Dollar Tree. Guys, I have a bag. I have a bag. I'm going to show you before I start pulling things out. I have a bag of stuff right here. Uh, we're just, we're just going to dive in. We're just going to go uh, head, head first and see what's uh, what's up. Uh, first off, I got a couple of notebooks. These were a dollar a piece. I am a sucker for making lists. I make lists continuously, whether it's about my YouTube or uh, things that I have to do or grocery lists or things that I need for the house. Notebooks are a big, big deal for me. I go through a ton of these and these are actually really cute. I always have one in my purse. I always have one at my desk and then I always have a couple up uh, on the fridge. So these are a must for me and these are actually really nice for a dollar. They're a nice size. They're a perfect size for sticking in your purse or in like a little cubby hole around the house. Just I have notebooks everywhere because I never know when I'm going to need to write something down. So I got a couple of these. Love that for me. And then I also picked up, oh, I think these are adorable. So I picked up a couple of these really cute little hair bows. Uh, they have, I'm going to take this off so you guys can see this, but they just have these little uh, clip on backs. Yeah, they just have these little clip on backs and then you just take it like this and just kind of clip it onto the hair. How freaking adorable is that? How adorable is that? I love a good hair bow and I thought these were so great. Again, they were a dollar a piece and they feel really nice. 
the actual like material of them they feel nice they're not frayed and the actual like where it's stuck to the pin it looks really really solid and really sturdy they don't look cheap to me at all i love this color as well these are just adorable so i got these in a couple of different colors i got this really cute baby pink one i got a darker pink as well and then i got a kind of like maroon burgundy one uh i think they're in maybe different styles yeah so this one is just the bow but these two have like these little feet on them and i feel like these would look so cute if you have your hair up in a bun or in like a low pony these are adorable and i thought these would be perfect for like uh pictures or especially around uh christmas time we always take uh family pictures and i thought i could have some a bow in my hair and that would be really cute i got a couple of different colors just in, just so i could wear them uh you know with different outfits but i think uh it is it's it's fairly youthful i think it brings a little bit of a youthfulness to a look uh and i don't think you're ever really too old to wear a bow so that makes me happy uh the closures on these ones are a little bit different so i wanted to show you guys that real quick let me get my pair of scissors uh you guys should definitely should go check out that live that i did earlier this morning it was we had a lot of fun over on the live i always have fun hanging out with my mamas uh but the lives are where i feel like i can really uh you know really interact with you guys and I really get to, you know, really be there with you, uh, at least for a little bit. And it's, it's, it really is my favorite. I love it so, so much. And, uh, this eye look really just kind of came together so quickly. Y'all, these are packaged like crazy. Y'all aren't going to steal these. That's for sure. I want to get, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So that's what this looks like. Uh, but I like that the actual uh, little clip is has the fabric on it as well. So I feel like it's not going to uh, grip onto the hair. And then you're not going to see that discoloration of like of the actual uh, mechanism itself. So it's going to blend into the hair really, really nicely. I think these are absolutely just adorable. I love a good bow definitely like on the back of the head okay i'm i'm, I'm in love with these probably I, I like them more than i should probably but i think these are so fun i think they're so so adorable y'all if i had a daughter that poor thing if i had a daughter she would have a bow in her hair every single day of the week and she would just be just the most adorable thing ever uh so i also picked up this this is the this is the la colors intense shimmer loose eyeshadow this is in the shade sunshine i actually picked this up because i saw a couple of different people using this and they said it was a really fantastic highlighter so i really wanted to try that out let's test this out real quick and see if it actually works this was the only shade they had at my Dollar General. Uh, I will say that there was not a lot of options at my Dollar, no, not Dollar, Dollar General, my Dollar Tree. I will say there were not a ton of options. It had been pretty much cleaned out. So it comes with this cute little brush, like dipstick brush kind of applicator. And I will say that I have, I have owned this before. Uh, this is not new to me. I remember when I was first, when I was young, really, really young and just kind of starting out with makeup, I remember that I used to use this as like a, as an eyeshadow and I used to use that applicator and I would pack it on to my eye. Let's use, let's see. I already have a little bit on, but. Oh, wow. So you can definitely see that warmer yellow toned as compared to that kind of softer champagne that I have on. I actually have e.l.f. highlighter on, but right, just right here where I put that. Wow, <clears throat> that's blinding. That's really pretty. I'm excited to play with this further. Uh, I will definitely, uh, I will, pro I will definitely be using that. That's a really, really pretty color. I even think that this would be stunning for like an inner corner or brow bone highlight. That's really pretty, and that was only a dollar. So that's the LA Colors uh, Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. So cute. I actually really like the packaging. I remember when I had it back in the day, I had a really pretty pink one. And then I also had like this really dark kind of blue black one that I thought was really, really pretty. I used to use them all the time. I also picked up a couple of nail files because y'all, I go through nail, nail files like crazy. I, I, I literally at least two or three a week I go through. Uh, so, and these were a dollar, you get 12 in here. So this is not the best value I've ever seen. And of course, these are not the best quality. 
but nail files are nail files and I use them continuously. I actually just did my nails last night and I love them so, so much. I actually got these nails from Sheen as well. Uh, not the, not the painted. I actually painted them myself, but the actual nails I got from Sheen, they are so affordable. So I got a pack of like 800 nails for like four bucks off Sheen. You guys definitely need to go check them out. I am probably going to become one of Sheen's like biggest advocates just because I enjoy them so, so much. I always find new treasures every time I go on the website. Uh, so, I, oh, now I, I have also heard about these eyelashes and I was so curious. I had to pickle, pickle. I had to pick a couple packs of them up. So I picked up these. These are the Ioni Wispy Natural Short Individual Lash Extensions. So I picked up a pack of these. These look really, really nice. Now, I don't mess with uh, lashes, like false lashes, too awful much. I usually just depend on a really, really good mascara. But I would like to get into, like, these little individual lashes or... I just want to get into it a little bit more. I want to be as well versed with makeup and ma all things makeup as I possibly can be. And these were so affordable. These looked really, really nice. They're 3D. I believe they're faux mink. Yeah, faux mink individual lash extensions. These look really nice. And I will say that the packaging looks fantastic as well. So I'm definitely going to try these out. I haven't had a chance to use them yet, but they look so, so nice. And especially just putting a couple pieces right on the outer part or outermost edge of uh, the lash line just to kind of uplift the eye and just give a little bit of a like fuller volumized effect. I think these would be really, really pretty. So I picked these up. I also picked up a set of lashes. Uh, oh no, I picked up two different individual lashes. So these are the 3D curls. Uh, what is the difference between these? These are the wispy natural short lashes. And then these are the wispy volume long lashes. Can you guys tell the difference look how much bigger and like volume vo voluminous these are compared to these wow those look really really fun these i feel like are really gonna bring the drama so i'm ready i'm excited to experiment with these and really play with these a little bit more i also picked up one of the uh lash glues it just says everlasting lash glue we'll try it out we'll see how well it works my favorite is the duo lash glue i use this stuff for absolutely everything uh but it's not the most affordable thing in the world and this was only a dollar so if this works really well i'm excited about it i also think that this one is the paint on yeah i think this is a paint on uh lash glue as well and i don't have one of those in my collection currently so i would like to experiment just with that application application method a little bit i really 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 love the packaging of these guys it's like it's got like this uh victorian kind of lady on the front and then on the back it's just this really beautiful minty uh pastel green color i think the packaging on these is absolutely fantastic i'm here for it I also picked up a, a couple pairs of the Ioni just straight up lashes. Uh, I picked up two of the lash glues just to see if they were good. So this, these are the Ioni 3D Foam Mink lashes. This is the shade. This is the style Natural Light Wispy. I thought these looked so so pretty. I'm not a big fan of those super super thick like flyaway kind of lashes, but these look like they're gonna give me a little bit of length, a little bit of volume, a little bit of wispiness. Those look really really pretty. I'm excited about those. I picked up this pair as well. These are the Natural Light Doll style, and I think these are even prettier. Again, they're just really, really, like, not super, super grr kind of lashes, but very light and wispy, gonna give you a little bit of volume, a little bit of length. Those look really, really pretty. And I heard Kelly Strack. She's the one I actually, uh, who turned me on to this. She said that they are absolutely one, she loves them. She uh, actually wears them quite often so I'm excited uh and it definitely I'm, I'm not the kind of person who wears them so often or super often so I don't want to invest in eyelashes if I'm probably just going to wear them one time but I will wear those and I will let you guys know how they perform I also picked up this pair this is the uh jewel eyes from LA colors this is just as one pair this is one pair of false eyelashes uh they just look really really pretty they look very full and kind of like dramatic those look really nice. I'm excited to play with those as well. I went heavy on the lashes, uh, apparently, because uh, there were just so many different variations of them there, and I was kind of excited. Uh, I also picked up a couple of sets of these uh, makeup brushes. These are just, it's just a four-piece eye brush set, but I like these because they're super teeny tiny detail brushes, and 
you guys know I love my big fat fluffy brushes but I don't have a ton of detail brushes so I thought I could at least get some use out of these and especially these like flat packing ones I thought would be really really nice to pack on shimmer onto the lid so that's really nice and I am a firm believer in the fact that you cannot have too many brushes so the more brushes I can have the happier I am and then I picked up these, which I thought were super, super cute. Uh, these are nail art pens. But what I thought was so cool about these, I got two different colors. But what I thought was so cool about these is on one side, you have the nail art pen. And then on the other side, you have rhinestones. And you guys know I am such a giant fan of rhinestones in general. I like, at this point, I just basically collect them. But I thought this was so, so neat. And I've been, uh, you know, I've been searching for things to help with my nail game and you know if this helps this helps uh, I want to oh okay so you have this teeny tiny little metal precision tip applicator and then it says you shake it and then you squeeze it let's see if you guys can see that and then you squeeze it and the uh, nail polish comes out of the tip there and then you can use that to draw I don't know I'm super super excited I don't think that the actual polish is the best uh, quality but I think that for any kind of line work or drawing small hearts I think it'll be fun and you know it was a dollar so why not and then on the other end you have these really cute little rhinestones uh, and I like the size of these they're just clear regular rhinestones but I thought this was really really fun uh, super cute kind of you know, super cute kind of little thing uh, to play with. So I got that blue one. And then I also got this one. So this one is different. This is the same style. But instead of rhinestones in this one, we have big chunky glitters. So that's fun. So this one is more of this. And it says it is raspberry scented, which is so much fun. Does it actually smell like raspberry? Let's see. So it says three in one nail art pen. So you see the glitter on here though? Look how beautiful and like multi-dimensional that glitter looks. That's going to be so much fun to play with. And then it says this is raspberry scented. So it draws on. That's the color of it. Y'all, it smells like nail polish. It don't smell like raspberries to me at all, but okay, you tried. It's still cute. I'm still excited to use these. I'm, I think this is such a cool idea. I love that. I love that so, so much. So I picked up those two things. Uh, I also picked up a couple of eyeliner pens as well. They had a couple of different shades. Yeah. So these are the LA Colors Eye Markers Slim Felt Tip Smudge Proof Pens. And I got three different colors. I got black, brown, and blue. Can I show these to you guys without flinging them all over myself? So this is what they look like. I'm excited about these. I go through uh, eyeliner pens like nobody's business. Uh, guys, I do my makeup literally every single day. And I don't think, again, it's like brushes. I don't think you can have too many good uh, eyeliners. And y'all, eyeliner is expensive. Uh, my favorite one right now is by NYX. I love the NYX Epic Ink. Uh, eyeliner pens I think they're fantastic but they're not the most they're not the most affordable things in the world prices are going up everywhere makeup is no exception okay so that's what the actual tip looks like nice long felt tip marker wow okay so I was expecting it to be dry and kind of eh, but that actually looks really, really nice. I was able to get a really nice, precise line with that. Uh, it's not super, super pigmented. And it, it doesn't look like it's feathering that badly either. So I did it on the back of my hand just to see if it would feather in my fine lines, but it doesn't look like it feathered too awful bad. Uh, it is definitely not the most pigmented thing in the world but for a dollar we can layer so i got the blue i got the brown and the black i'll definitely be playing with these a little bit more in the future i think that color of blue is actually really really pretty i'm excited about those i definitely prefer a uh brush tipped liner but we can make it work we can make it work uh, especially for a dollar i also got this super cute little face brush i don't know why i really didn't need it but 
I was hoping that this would help kind of exfoliate my face just a little bit. Um, it's summertime and I really am not like uh, dealing with the super dry skin at the moment. Uh, but I do always have like some dry patches just around my nostrils. And I was hoping that this could really help me get into the little cracks and crevices on my face and really just help gently exfoliate uh, my face. So I picked that up. I also picked up these little face uh, face cloths. Um, these are the microfi microfiber facial pads. Uh, there's a three pack of them. They had these in all different colors. There were black, green, blue, purple, pink. I got pink because I love pink. Pink is one of my absolute favorite colors. Uh, but these look nice. Let's feel them and actually see how they feel because that's what actually matters is how they feel. Let's see what kind of quality they are. For a dollar, I'm not expecting a ton. Those feel nice. Okay, so these feel nicely like they're not like the softest things in the world, but I feel like these would definitely help get your makeup off. And they're actually padded. I was expecting it to be like really thin and kind of flimsy, but they actually have a nice kind of thickness to them. They're nicely padded. I feel like that would be great for helping kind of wipe off the makeup. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, I'm excited about these. I think these are really, really gonna work those are nice and I just love the color I love that bright pink color that makes me happy I also picked up a couple of masks as well uh, I actually really really enjoy Freeman masks I use them all the time this is the clearing pomegranate peel off face mask now I like the Freeman peel off masks because I don't feel like they're like it's not like I'm sticking glue on my face I usually try to stay away from the peel off masks uh, just because I, I don't feel like they're that great for your skin uh, but these ones are fairly gentle where peel off masks are concerned so I picked up these I actually want to smell this and see what it oh it smells so good oh that smells yummy so it's a clear gel mask it's it feels like straight up glue though I'm not even gonna lie to you it feels like straight up glue Mmm, but it smells fantastic. Oh, it's got like a really beautiful light kind of uh, fruity, fresh kind of skincare scent. So let's put that on the back of our hand and let that dry down and we'll see if it like hurts to peel off. So I got one of those. Put those over here. And then let me wipe off my hand so I don't get mask everywhere and then i picked up what is this oh i picked up a pack a green pack of the uh facial pads as well just because i really liked the green they match my eyes today it was meant to be <coughs> okay oh i also found these which i thought were really really fun and i actually recognized this brand so i'm excited to see how these work these are the ardell uh irresistible shadow sticks and i got these in a couple different uh colors i got them in the shade uh slade oh i got two slades so one's going in the giveaway so the shade slade i got the shade gunmetal and the shade make it make it with you make it with you so i got three different colors that's what they look like if I sit here and try to open them with you guys, we're going to be here for 20 minutes because I have nails on and it's going to be impossible. But that's what they look like. I think I have one open somewhere. Yes, I do. And we can swatch it. So this is the shade. This is the shade Make It With You. And this is what they look like. It's just a straight up eyeshadow stick. Uh, they feel fairly dry. They feel like they feel old not even gonna lie to y'all they feel old I definitely probably would skip on these but that color is really really pretty it's like a really beautiful like golden copper bronze kind of color that is pretty oh it's got a nice kind of sheen on it as well that's pretty but I probably would skip on these because they feel old and dry feels like once you open these you're probably not gonna have a huge window of time to play with them before they're probably dried up and useless so there's that I also picked up this this is the LA Colors marshmallow eye pencil I picked this up because it said marshmallow on it I'm not even gonna lie to you guys it said marshmallow and I was I was I was here for it I it was intriguing to me 
I was like, what, what does, what do you mean by marshmallow eye pencil? Does that mean it smells like marshmallow? Does that mean it has like a whipped kind of consistency? What does that mean? So I picked it up. This is in the shade B Teal. And I actually have used the, uh, the LA Colors eye pencils before. They're actually pretty nice. They're a pretty nice formula. They're easy to, they're like, they're easy to use. It's just a standard eyeshadow stick. Look at that color. Oh, you could you imagine this? I use these as eyeliners, not really so much as eyeshadow sticks, but I think these are really, really great uh, to use in the waterline. They're super, super pigmented, and they kind of stick around for a good long while. This is nice. No, oh, it doesn't smell like a marshmallow. That's sad, but the color is really, really beautiful. Super creamy. It went on super effortlessly. Ooh, I'm excited about this. This is actually going to go in my little cup up here. I'm definitely going to use that as an eyeliner. Uh, I also picked up this. This is the LA Colors Lip Oil. This is in the what flavor? This is in the flavor grape. I am always, always down to try a new lip oil. I think lip oils are so nourishing and comforting. They give your lips a little bit of shine, a little bit of juiciness without being heavy and like you know, sticky on the lips. So this is really, really nice. I have used the LA Colors lip oil before and they're a really nice, really nice formula. Not super thick. I would say that they're definitely thicker than the, uh, than the Lottie London one, but thinner than the, I don't know. They're not quite a gloss, but not quite a lip oil. They're somewhere just a little bit in between, but what I really like about these is the scents and the flavors. They have a really beautiful kind of fruity scent to them, and it's just enjoyable, uh, and it, it doesn't really have a ton of pigment, but it does give your lips just this really beautiful, juicy, glossy shine while being very, very comfortable to wear. I am here for this. I think this is really nice. I'm definitely going to, that's going to go right into my purse. I also picked up a couple more masks. This is the Freeman Pro Protective Ceramides Clay Face Mask. This is just a single use package. I picked up a couple of different uh, varieties of this. I picked up the uh, protective ceramides. Ceramides are so good for your skin anyway, y'all. And I'm getting to a point now, I'm a wrinkly mess. The more I can like hydrate and take care and pamper my skin, the happier my skin's gonna be with me. Uh, and I, like I said, I enjoy the Freeman uh, skincare masks and stuff like that. Uh, so I picked up a couple of these. These were, I think these were two for a dollar, which was great. So I picked up two of the ceramides. This is a hydrating hyaluronic acid gel cream mask. Uh, this one, I think I am so, so excited about as well. Like I said, dried up dusty old mummy over here. Anything I can do to put a little bit of moisture back into my skin is a good thing. So I picked up a couple of those. What is this? I picked up this. This is a spa, a spa April. Okay. So this is a duo mask it says one side is a green tea facial cleanser. And the step two is activated charcoal face mask. Guys, I just like doing face masks and these were super, super cheap. So I picked them up. I liked that there was a cleanser and a mask duo. Uh, I like two-step masks like that. So I'm here for that. Uh, masks are, masks are just fun. I just enjoy doing them. I also picked up a couple of hair masks. This is the Repairin, uh, this is Hask. Now I enjoy Hask's, Hask masks. <laughs> I get them from uh, Walmart all the time, uh, and they're usually like a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy five at Walmart, uh, and these were a dollar a piece, so a little bit of a deal. So I picked some up. Uh, these is this is the Repairin Argan Oil uh, Conditioning Treatment. I actually really, really, really enjoy Argan Oil for my hair. I actually process my hair quite a bit. Uh, I try not to over process it so much anymore, but I do go get my hair highlighted, and any kind of bleach in your hair is. is it's going to damage it. Uh, so I really try to keep my hair as hydrated and conditioned as I possibly can. And these are actually really, really nice. I actually put these on. I put this in my hair before I get into the shower. I saturate every strand I can. I really just get as much of it on there as I can. Uh, wrap my hair. I usually tie my hair up into like a Walmart bag. I'll just kind of tie a Walmart bag around my hair and just walk around, get ready. I'll do my shaving, wash my body, all that stuff. And then I'll rinse it out of my hair and shampoo. Uh, but I really like to let these sit in my hair for as long as I can. And they really do make a difference. I enjoy these very, very much. So I got a couple of those. I got a couple of 
this one. This is the nourishing coconut oil uh, conditioning treatment as well. Uh, coconut oil is really good for the hair as well. And again, it's by the same brand, Hask. These are really, really nice. If you're looking for something super affordable to, you know, to help bring a little bit of life back to your hair, I recommend these. Uh, they also, they have all kinds of different ones, guys. Uh, Hask is like they do hair masks and they're everywhere i find these at uh, family dollar uh, i've even found these at my local angles these little conditioning masks are everywhere and they're so good they're super affordable they're so good i do one once a week they work they help every little bit counts and these are great especially for a dollar you can't beat it i'm happy about that uh, i also picked up okay so like i said i make lists continuously. Uh, so I picked up a couple of these pads. These are actually the ones that you can stick to the refrigerator. They have the little uh, magnets on the back of them. I love these things. I actually keep these on my fridge with, uh, and I keep a little pen holder uh, on top of the fridge. So when I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking and I use the very last of something, I can just walk over to the refrigerator and write down that we need to replace it, especially like milk and flour and eggs and soda and, and juice, all that stuff. Whenever I use the last of something, I walk right over to the refrigerator and write it on the list. These are invaluable to me. And usually these things are expensive. Like if you try to pick these up at Walmart or anywhere else like that usually there's these are like two or three bucks a piece and these were only a dollar a piece so I'm super happy and you get a nice amount of sheets in here these are nice I'm happy these will be used uh, we're getting to the bottom of the bag now guys oh I found these and I thought these were so super cute I'm excited about these I uh, I love very much uh, I love like creative looks and I and I look for things that are going to help to inspire me in my makeup and give me ideas. And a lot of times, uh, I know I've said this before, but I'll go to the arts and crafts section at Walmart and just see what catches my eye, what gives me ideas, what inspires me. And there was a little like scrapbooking section at Dollar Tree and I found so I found a couple of really cute things. So first off, I found these really adorable little butterflies. These are little butterfly stickers and uh, one is white and one is blue. And I thought like maybe like a fairy princess, butter queen of the butterflies kind of look. I just know that I will be able to use these in something in one way or another. And these are nice. Uh, these have little stickers. I'm going to open one up so I can show this to you guys. These have little stickers on the back of them that so uh, so they will adhere to uh, your skin or your makeup. But another thing, see, I want to show you guys what the back of them looks like. That's that little piece of adhesive. And that adhesive is actually really, really strong. Uh, so it won't be difficult for them to stick to the face at all. Uh, but even if they don't want to stick to your face, you can put a little dot of uh, eyelash glue on the back of there and then stick it to the face. And they will do like how cute is that how adorable is that can you not see like a look uh created exactly just just around that little it's the one little thing that can spark a, a, a big giant kind of look you just need that little tiny piece of inspiration and sometimes so much beauty can grow from that teeny tiny little thing so these are adorable. I got them in two different colors. I'm really happy about these. And then of course you could definitely use them uh, for scrapbooking as well. Uh, I'm not a big scrapbooker. I, I might get into that in, in the future. But until then I will be using them for makeup. I think these are great. Really, really great. Just kind of inspiration providers. So I got the little butterflies. I also got these little flowers. Same deal pink and blue and they have the same little adhesive squares on the back of them but I thought the flowers were really pretty as well you know just you never know when the mood's gonna strike uh and I would rather have them and not need them than need them and not not have them and for a dollar a piece these were absolutely freaking adorable and then I also picked up these uh these are just kind of like little rhinestone gems or whatever but I thought these would be so fun as like a headband you know or even to like break these up into pieces and put them uh, in the hair or I, I don't know, do them on the arm as jewelry. I just thought these were really, really cool looking and I will 100% find something to use these for, but these are really, really awesome looking. Uh, these are just, uh, it says crafters square jewel border stickers. So I guess they're border stickers, 
but could you imagine using this as like a uh as like a crown or even using this as like uh it's like little like cutting it pieces of it pieces of it off and using it as like a border around the eye i don't know i just think that there's so many possibilities with this so i picked this up in gold and then i also picked it up in pink i think they're both absolutely beautiful i'm going to give you guys a closer up look of those look at the little details in there i think they're so so beautiful i think that those would make a really really fun artistic kind of uh kind of look and then I picked up this. This is just Starburst gem stickers. They're basically just rhinestones, but I liked the shape and color of these as well. So each of these are little individual stickers, like individual rhinestones. And then this is one solid piece and these are individuals. The, this is one solid piece. I just thought that those were really cool and would definitely come into handy. Uh, at some point i'll definitely use them at some point and again the same thing with these they have their own adhesive but you can also add a little bit of lash glue onto the back of these uh, i like to use the duo clear lash the white one it dries clear it's undetectable on the skin and it really it i trust it it really holds things to the skin uh i'm excited i'm excited about these for a dollar a piece you can't break uh you can't uh beat it and y'all there is uh, there is no price i won't pay for inspiration really 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 no price i won't pay oh i picked up another one of those marshmallow eye pencils but this is in the shade uh baby pink let's see what this one looks like i know that the consistency is going to be super super similar but i want to see what the color is going to look like i love having a pair of scissors on hand at all times especially when you have your nails done i have like i have broken so many nails trying to get into these makeup packages Ooh, that's really pretty. I think that's going to be a really, really pretty eyeliner as well. Ooh, I love that color. It's got a little bit of like a, it's got, it's more of like a warm pink. It's not really blue toned pink. It's got a little bit of a warmer undertone. That's really pretty. And they actually feel really nice. They have like a really good kind of, they don't feel greasy, but they have a really like creamy kind of consistency to them. That's really cute. Going right into my cup over here. Oh, we're, we're, we're down to the last of it, guys. I promise you. We are almost there. I also picked up uh, a couple of these. Maybe one, two, two of these. So these are the Art Deco. These are LA colors again. These are the Art Deco Nail Art Precision Pointed Brush. They're nail polishes, but they're for nail art. And I thought these two colors were really, really pretty. Pink and green. Are, you, are, we, are we seeing a theme yet? I really, really, really like pink and green. Uh, I they, They're definitely two of my most favorite favorite colors but I have used these before and these are actually really really nice I want to show you guys the actual brush tip on these though uh, because they are so easy to use they have like a really precise kind of tip on them shake them up because I'm sure they're old as dirt yeah that's going to be great. So they have this really, really great, super long kind of brush tip on there that lets you really create some like really fine kind of pinstripe lines. I like that color as well. So these are not supposed to be like regular nail polish. Uh, the consistency of these is just a little bit thinner. And that's so that, uh, you know, you're not getting like big globs of nail polish on your nails at one time. So you can be a little bit more artistic with these. Uh, but I enjoy these very, very much. It's been forever since I've actually seen these particular, this, these particular bottles. So I'm excited. Uh, this one is in the shade Limon and this is in the shade Poppin' Pink really like those definitely going to be putting those to use uh here very very shortly and then i picked up a couple of i went to my doctor's office and i picked up a couple of samples of this cerave hydrating facial cleanser i actually heard uh harem hiram Hiram talking about this facial cleanser a couple of weeks ago and I was very very intrigued uh, I have again have super super dried up dusty old mummy skin so anything I can do to put a little bit of moisture back into my skin is a yes please and he said nothing but great things about this face uh, face wash uh, so I'm gonna test this out and see if I like it and then I picked up a couple of things of nail polish because 
I don't already have enough. Uh, so OPI is one of my favorite brands of nail polish and I went to Burks and I found a couple new colors that I'm so in love with. Uh, so, and this is, this is not Dollar Tree, but it's in this bag, I guess, because I forgot to take it out. Um, so I'm going to show these to you guys anyway, but one of my favorite, favorite, uh, like mini brands or collections of the OPI is the Infinite Shine 2. And the reason I love these is because they're so holographic. Uh, this is in the shade, this color hits all the high notes. Is that the shade name? Is that the shade name? Okay. <laughs> but it's a really beautiful holographic, smoky, kind of bluey gray color. I love colors like this. Uh, what I'll do is I will put a really dark base down first, whether I use a really dark blue or a black or a deep plum. I'll put a dark shade down first and then do a top coat of this really beautiful holographic color. I actually have quite a few uh, different colors of these holographic ones and they are so beautiful. They catch the light in such a beautiful way and they give your nails something very unique and very just like uncommon. And that's what I go for when I do my nails. I want my nails to be loud, loud as hell and super, super just me. And I love this. I love this so, so much. I picked up this yellow color. This is sun, sea, and sand in my pants. <laughs> a really beautiful, bright, sun, sunshiny yellow. I picked up just a clear top coat. I picked up, oh, I love this color. This is a really beautiful, bright, kind of electric orange. Uh, this is the shade My Chihuahua Doesn't Bite Anymore. <laughs> the names on these are just everything. So that's a really beautiful, bright, kind of almost burnt looking orange stunning and then i picked up this color this is the shade to the finish lime to the finish lime i'm gonna shake this one because this one's separated a little bit but i again guys know i love bright lime neon green and this one i just had to have yeah this one's really really separated but the best thing about nail polish is all you've got to do is shake that bad boy up and we're good as new. But I really like this because it was bright, but then it still had that little bit of like a pastel kind of creamy uh, finish to it. This really reminds me of Key Lime Pie, very much the same color as my eye look today. Oh, and last but not least, I picked up this. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bear to, Bear to Comment. So... There she is. Let's test her out. And then I will release you guys. I am, as soon as I get done with this video, I am going to start researching for this week's True Love Tuesday. So guys, definitely check this one out. This week's True Love Tuesday out. I am so excited. I picked a really, really, really great lady, uh, a really great couple uh, to talk about this week. And I think it's going to be so much fun. We're sticking to that old Hollywood true love kind of thing. And this week's story is oh, so much fun. Uh, so this is the Bear to Comment uh, Gel Lip Liner. Uh, this is from Wet n Wild. And this was basically just about the only thing from Wet n Wild I saw uh, there. Ooh, that feels nice. Okay, so that is a really, really beautiful kind of mauve brown. That is stunning. I will get so much use out of that. And that felt so super creamy and soft. It doesn't feel old or dried up at all. That's fantastic. That's stunning. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you have. I hope you go and have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing rest of your day. Uh, as always, all of my, I'll try to list as much of this uh, in the description box as I can, along with the links to all my other social medias. So make sure you're following me on all my other socials. It means more to me than you will ever, ever know. I really, really appreciate y'all's support. Uh, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with my new toys, my new treasures, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. I hope this helped you in some small way. I hope it at least entertained you for a tiny amount of time. And be sure to like this video before you leave. Make sure you're subscribed. And until next time, my loves, Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.